one, job versus career. You made a statement in this book, and it reads, in my opinion, career in, the, in this context has nothing to do with money per se. You will be rewarded to the degree of your perceived worth. I encourage the people I encounter to take their job or assignment on earth seriously. And there's a statement. No one comes to this planet empty. So I want to ask you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to come from the Christian perspective just because I'm a Christian, but I believe a lot of worldviews also share the same perspective that um, the creator of the universe, right, it doesn't ship out anything on the universe. That, right? If you take cars, for instance, if it's not tested and, and tried and proven, there's no way Mercedes will put the yeah, seal of approval. The seal on it, and then it will not be able to know. So until it gets to that point, it's that, right? So it's like you are living your life in reverse. We think we are living life in real time, but it's actually like we are we are we are running it. It's like it's something that's already done, and we are playing it back. So it's like a simulation, something like that. It's, like, it's more like a playback. So the point is. Everything you would ever become is inside of you. Mm. The answers we are looking for, we think they are outside, but they are really inside of us. It's really inside. When you take an orange seed, everything the orange needs, I mean that tree needs, right? It's embedded in just that little seed. But it grows to become this mighty oak of a tree and has all these branches, but it's just a seed. But inside that seed, just as you are saying, there's nothing on it, it's just a seed. Your daughter or your son came, you know, empty, naked. But it's just a spot. Everything is wrapped up in the seed, just that there is a process, right? So as the baby grows and you are helping to nurse and to nurture the baby, it gets to a point where they can stand on their own and where they begin to also find themselves. And when they begin to realize, okay, I think these are my strengths, my strengths, these are my weaknesses, so I can major in on my, my uh, strength, because that's where everything is. And the mind that we have, this brain, it's, it's just something. Like, I'm more of a thinker, so anytime I'm like alone, I begin to think a lot and just ponder over a lot of things, right? And I felt like the best gold mines, they are not in South Africa or in China or in Russia or Australia or the Atlantic or something. They are in our minds. We have extracted so much from here than we could ever, ever, ever extract from the ground. Everything you look around you, everything came from, from here. I mean, needless to say, we are people, we are not shipping people, no mass billions to space. You know, people like Elon Musk are planning to build multi-planetary systems. And he said something that so long as we are not breaking the law of physics, it's possible. That hit me. It's like, no, it's, it's, it's possible. Why not? We can go and come at any time. So long as we are not breaking the laws of physics, it's possible. So one, this thing, I want to encourage all of us, let's use it because there's a last year that we can ever, ever, ever tap into and build out and create out of what we have here. So everything, you know, it's embedded in us. We are born with special talents. You know, um, different families have different things. Um, I've heard Rock, the Rock, um, Dwayne Johnson, you know, and I try to study some patterns. This may not work for everybody, but he said something that his father was also a fighter yeah. and his grandmother was also a fighter. So it looks like there's something that is like implanted, ingrained in that family, right? You look at some other families, they play football or soccer, and it's like, or music. Think of Michael Jackson, the Jackson Five. You know, that is, again, it's not, uh, what, is, what is it called, uh, something that works for or is applicable to everybody. But again, find time. If you have to lock yourself, for 24 hours, for 48 hours, for, seven, for, for weeks until you, you find yourself do that. It's very important. There were times in college I would lock myself up for four days, just studying, just studying, just studying, just consuming a lot of materials, trying to understand and, and read great minds and read biographies of great people and then see how they think, you know. So when you go through that process, you begin to find your kind. And when I say look, that when you meet people who 
are like you. Nobody will tell you when you come across those people. Only they will have a higher energy because that's what they want to be. That's your superior self. So you will gravitate towards those people. I'm to say, have you all seen the movie uh, A Beautiful Mind by Mel Gibson? You obviously have a beautiful mind, so I'm going to call you Charles Mel Gibson. <laughs> uh, no, but thank you for sharing your thoughts here.